there are following several new developments overnight after a series of explosions in New York and New Jersey. A robot detonated a bomb in a trash can overnight in Elizabeth, New Jersey. It was one of five devices found near a train station. Also overnight, the FBI stopped a car near New York's Veranzano Bridge. Five people inside were questioned in connection to Saturday's explosion in the city's Chelsea neighborhood. A pressure cooker bomb blew up and injured more than two dozen people. The force shattered windows in the area and closed a busy corridor. A second pressure cooker bomb was found four blocks away but did not explode. Now, this all happened after a bomb detonated Saturday morning in Seaside Park, New Jersey. Also on Saturday, a man with a knife stabbed several people at a mall in central Minnesota. ISIS is claiming responsibility for that attack. We have correspondents all around the country covering all of these developing stories right now. We will begin with Michelle Miller. She is in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Amtrak and New Jersey Transit serve tens of thousands of people every single day. There will be delays today. In fact, the station behind me just reopened. Investigators have been combing through evidence to see if there was any link between what would happen here last night and those explosions over the weekend. That was the moment an explosive device was accidentally set off by a bomb squad robot. The blast even sent investigators ducking for cover. Officials say there were five devices inside the backpack, one of which was described as a pipe with wires coming out of it. Only one of the devices exploded. I don't have the expertise to determine the blast function of that, uh, but based on this, the loudness, I think people could have been severely hurt or injured. Chris Bolwage, the mayor of Elizabeth, says the backpack was first spotted in a trash can by two people sometime after 8 o'clock last night. They found it and they walked it around the corner thinking there was something of value in it. When they realized it was too heavy and emptied it out, that's when they left the area and, and went to police headquarters. With the Northeast on high alert following the other explosions this weekend, Elizabeth's mayor says the investigation will be thorough. We're not going to know until the state police have an opportunity to examine the materials and compare it to what was found in Seaside Park and or Chelsea, New York. Uh, that will remain under investigation at this time. And right now, the ATF and the FBI are carrying out a raid inside a business a few blocks from here. It is unclear if it is related to the explosives found last night. Fortunately, no one was injured in that blast. And we should also note that Mayor Bolwich says there were no electronic devices or cell phones used in that blast either. Nora. All right, Michelle, thank you so much.